I'm going to crack 24 packs of uh, Ravnica Allegiance. This will be the last 24 packs that I crack before I, uh, I order some singles. And so whatever I don't pull here that's really good that I need, I'll be ordering singles for. I'm going to make four videos, each of six packs, and then I'll make uh, builds with the first 12 packs and builds with the second 12 packs. Same as I've been doing, so it's really... Uh, two builds per, per 12 packs where I'll split them halfway through halfway in the card selection so they're cracking uh, I have not cracked enough of this set compared to uh, Ravnica, uh, Guilt of Ravnica and so uh, these pulls will be a lot more needed especially the uncommons and the rares and the mythic rares than in the case of guilds There may even be some commons that I'll need uh, to complete playsets. Whereas in the case of guilds, I've got, uh, I've got, I think I'm pretty sure I have a playset of all the commons. And I'll, I'll make uh, mention of some commons that I really want and need for builds. And here come the uncommons. And I already have a place out of this guy. And I think of this guy too. So that's a mythic rare. <clears throat> kind of a weird card. Not sure what I would do with it. Um, it's one of those weird mythic rares. And that's a foil. Okay. And then token and uh, Guildgate. So I'll put them there, there. So I'll keep them, make sure I keep them separate. So I'm just going to take my time with the, how I crack the crack cards, even with the commons. And that means that it'll be just uh, six, six packs for a uh, video. Having a ton of fun playing uh, on Arena. Although I'm taking a break this weekend. I'm getting old. Oh, great, great pull. Uh, I'm getting old and uh, the uh, flashing lights in Arena actually tire my eyes a lot. So I think I'm going to take a break for this whole weekend, even though I really, really want to play. And I'm running out of time before rotation where I can actually test in standard Later on, I'll be forced to test in Historic, uh, which is not going to be anywhere near as fun and accurate. Yes, I was missing this guy. That's fantastic. So it's going to be a highlight card. And I'm pretty sure I need this guy. Yeah. And that's the rare. Because you watch a lot of these videos uh, on YouTube for uh, Ravnica 3 and what you will see is everybody rushing to see how many shock lands they get out of the two boxes. They'll do both boxes, uh, guilds and allegiance. And of course, they're never going to crack more than four. Uh, and so it's always... Uh, Rudy does these videos. He's done a, a dozen of them. Uh, they're interesting in some way, but they go really fast. Uh, and it's all about the shock lens, which, you know, to some extent that's true for these sets long term. But I don't really care about that. I'm building a fun cube. And so and fun, the beauty of cubing is uh, some cards that are not financially great cards are actually good cards in a cube. Okay, hitting the uncommons now. And I think these are my highlight pulls, right? Yeah, they are, they are.
yeah, these are highlight pulls. Okay, so then we're off to pack number four. I've been really looking forward to cracking these packs because I just did not get around to crack enough builds. I mean, enough uh, allegiance. Which is the same thing that happened to me with Gate Crash. I opened a lot of Return to Ravnica and then eventually had to buy more uh, Gate Crash. And I think, I think I'll probably do it with uh, bundles, fat packs. Probably crack one or two more uh, Allegiance fat packs, especially if I can find them at a good price. Act of Treason. Oh, another one of these guys. Good. This guy gets played. I've seen a player against me. Oh, I don't really play him. Good. Great pull. Much needed. Yeah. Great claws. Best pull so far. If I pull a shotgun, I'll be fine, but I'm not going to be disappointed if I pull none, because it doesn't matter in this queue that I'm building. You just use the gill gates, and they enter untapped by house rules. Great common. Yeah, absolutely worth the highlight. The rare one that has a uh, you gain you double your life and your uh, opponent halves their life. Oh man, played it against a deck where it really went wild. Yeah. Very memorable, and I didn't record the game, as luck would have it. Yeah, as luck would have it, did not record that outrageous game. Actually, and I even made, I think I made a gigantic mistake at the end. Oh, yeah, maybe that's the reason why it's a good thing I didn't. Eh, I don't mind recording my mistakes. Wow, these packs are a little hard to crack. The glue, very strong glue. Yeah, that's the last pack. I did not go into the other pile. Not that it matters, I'm still within the uh, 12 packs that I want to do uh, constructive builds with. Yeah, this guy's good. Get to play. Man, if these had been two drops, oof, that would have been amazing. I don't think I have this uncommon. There are there are still uncommons that I don't have. Nice, nice mythic. Okay, so then for the highlights for this particular uh, pack crack of six cards. I've got this dude, Tasha, the milling card, and I don't think I have enough of this guy, if, if any, I don't know. I mean, I, I need to pull a lot more uh, Allegiance. That's why I was really looking forward to these pulls. And then um, the commons. Got banned, <clears throat> but not in my uh, cube. This gets so much play. Okay, there you have it. So that's that's the first six packs.